guys, how are you? It is Kylene from Fashion Crossroads, and this is Wednesday Wardrobing Live, our July series. If you're not familiar with Wednesday Wardrobing, um, it is a live video series that I put on every month, usually two to three weeks of live videos all based around the same concept or topic. Um, and so this month, it is sales season. I'm standing in front of our sales section at the store and I've just, we've just done a full store markdown at both Fashion Crossroads and FC Outlet. So it's the perfect time to start talking about sales and how to shop them like a boss. There really is a trick to it. Um, you can really become a savvy sales shopper if you kind of think a little bit about your approach and that's kind of what I want to talk to you about tonight. Um, so yeah, so tonight is all about shopping sales like a boss. I will be talking about this topic next Wednesday and the following Wednesday as well. And for those of you that are Casper people, Crazy Days is coming. So um, I think it's like the 19th is pre-Crazy Days, no, the 18th is pre-Crazy Days. The 19th and the 20th are crazy days. So um, make sure that you mark your calendar and save the date because those are truly crazy prices. It's a great time to shop. All right, so part one of shopping the sales like a boss, let's dive in. So first and foremost, have a list. You know, I see all the time people shopping um, and they, you know, they kind of say, um, well, you know, I could, this is so cheap, how, how could I not buy it? Well, you know, the most expensive thing you have in your closet is the thing you never wear. So just because it's cheap doesn't mean it's going to be valuable for you. So if you shop with a list, that helps you to like stay focused on the things you really need. If you have never done my closet clean out series, I do that always in January. And so you can go back into my um, either Wednesday wardrobing on YouTube or you can scroll back into my blog posts if you're, um, you know, you'd rather read, read the steps instead of have me tell you about them. But that is such a great tool and the last step in that closet clean out is to make a shopping list. And that shopping list is all based around things that you need to add to your wardrobe so that when you go shopping, you have that list right in front of you so you are you can keep yourself from buying something just to buy it. I don't know how many times I have done this where I have bought something with and I didn't have any plan for it aside from I just really liked it and then it just hung in my closet because I didn't have anything to go with it. And to find something to go with it took a whole nother shopping trip and that took time and so it hung there for six months before I actually wore it. The whole idea of having a list to shop with is all about trying to avoid that very situation. So um, yeah, so have a list. Know in your mind what it is that you need, what it is that you're looking for, what it is you'd like to find. I mean, maybe you're just like, well, I'd really like to have this trend represent, represented in my closet. Well, that should be on the list. But I think the thing we never wanna do is just go wide open. I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll know it when I see it because then we end up sometimes buying things that we don't need or we don't have matches for. And a corollary to that is buy outfits. I always recommend to buy matches. Unless you know for sure that you have something in your closet that will match that print or that thing, buy your outfit at the time that you shop because you're gonna know that you're gonna be able to go home and wear it tomorrow and you aren't depending upon your memory to remember the exact color you know, how many times do you think, oh, this is gonna look great, and then you get it home and you're like, this isn't even the same color, but in your mind, it was exactly the same. So buy matches, shop with a list. I think those are two really important, um, I guess, pieces of advice um, that are really important for sale shopping. All right, so have a list is number one. Number two is try everything on. 
So sometimes it's on the sales rack because there was a problem with the cut or the fit. So you never want to just assume it's gonna fit. A lot of times sales merchandise is uh, all sales final. You can't return it. So you wanna make sure to take the time to try everything on um, and make sure that there's no issue with the fit. Pay attention, Do the are the, all the buttons there? Do the zippers work? Um, are the, is the elastic good? Pay attention to all of those kinds of things because Honestly, sometimes things end up on the sales racks because of those issues. So may, make sure that you pay attention, all the latches latch, everything is good. Um, also, if you see six of the same item on a rack, probably a problem with the style or the fit. Your best sales items are usually gonna be ones or twos you're not gonna see 12 of the same thing. If you see 12 of the same thing, then the parent company has dumped all of those on that store because somebody else was trying to get rid of them and they couldn't. And if they couldn't, there's a reason. So just be very wary if you see a whole bunch of the same style, that's usually an indication there's a problem. Um, shop early. So guys, we are in sale season. Most fall, for most of us, starts arriving August. So July is sale season. Pretty much everywhere you go, they are gonna be trying to get rid of their summer merchandise that has not moved. So you want to take advantage of those sales earlier rather than later because the best stuff is gonna sell first. That's just the way it is. So when you know, when you get notified that your favorite store has put things on sale, you need to get there as soon as you can because that's how you're gonna get the best stuff. Um, the best stuff always sells first. That's just the law of it. So get there early. My next one is shop alone. So I know it's more fun to shop with friends, but I can't tell you how many times I've seen a friend talk somebody out of something that wasn't really about whether it looked good on that person but it was more about their personal preference or their personal style. And they weren't really thinking about the friend and what the friend wanted. They were thinking about what they thought about that item, if they would wear it or not wear it. So be careful with shopping with friends, um, especially when you're asking them for advice. If you can shop you know, side by side with your friend and she doesn't question your purchases and you don't question her purchases, I think that's great. But if you're maybe not as confident in your choices and you have a tendency to be like, what do you think of this? Do you think this is a good color on me? Those kinds of questions. Be careful about the friend that you take shopping and make sure that she's gonna give you the best advice based on you and not on her. Because sometimes that can be not as good of a situation as it should be. And I see that all the time. So my advice is always, if you can, just shop by yourself. And then go out to lunch with your friends, have a drink, and show them all the bargains that you got. All right, get on notification lists. So marketing has totally changed, right? Gone are the days when you could look in the newspaper and find out what store was having what sale. Now, 90% of the time, if you know that a store is having a sale, it's because maybe you heard it in an advertisement, like on the radio, maybe, but more than likely, you know it because you got an email, you got a text, or you saw a post. Because that is how most stores are communicating with their customers. So make sure you are on those lists. If they're a decent store, they're not gonna spam you. They're not gonna send five emails a day or 10 emails a week. Hopefully, they'll be decent enough to just notify you about what is important for you to know. And you need to read those emails, especially around this time if you are wanting to shop sales. Uh, because they're gonna let you know, hey guys, we've just done a markdown, it's time to get your Fanny in here and shop these sales. So make sure that you are on those lists for your favorite stores. That's really, really important to make sure that you get in and get on those sales early. Also a VIP group 
If you're a Facebook user, if your store is on Facebook, generally they will have a VIP group, especially if they're a smaller store like a boutique. And that is another place where they're going to make sure to let you know, hey, everybody, we just did a markdown. Um, get your fanny in here and grab these things before they sell out. So um, make sure that you are checking those things, that you are plugged into those things so that you are made aware of, those, of the sales when they're done and you're not coming in two weeks after the fact and just getting the leftovers, right? Um, so those are my, that's part one of my shop the sales like a boss. I will continue next Wednesday with part two. So if you think that this video would be super great for one of your friends, make sure you share it, comment on it, like it. All of those things helps us a lot because then Facebook and Instagram think that, wow, lots of people are liking this. Let's show it to more people. So do that for me, comment on it, like it, and share it. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a wonderful 4th of July. We are closed at Fashion Crossroads and FC Outlet tomorrow, but we reopen on Friday. And if you are fans of ours, then here is me telling you, get your fanny in here because we just did store-wide markdowns in both stores. All right, have a great night.